gossip. What's up, world? You're tuned into 423 FM. You already know we've got you covered with your daily dose of celebrity drama. Now let's get into it. Hey, what's up, guys? Welcome back to the 423. The people have been asking me where I'm at, where I've been. When I say people, I mean I got one single comment. But news has been painfully slow, and I'm glad to have something to talk about finally. Also, on the days I don't post videos, I do news write-ups on the423.com, so check me out over there in the meantime. Now, Myers Leonard, who plays for the Miami Heat, is catching heat, haha, <laughs> get it, over some comments he made during a live stream while he was playing Call of Duty. It's actually insane how many times this exact scenario has happened. If you guys know PewDiePie, his big N-word scandal came while he was playing a video game. Like, why are you guys getting so angry over a simulation? That's obviously not the problem here, but it is insane that this fake environment breeds that much aggression. If you don't know who Myers Leonard is, you might know him from hits like I was the only player on the Miami Heat to stand for the national anthem. That's literally the last and only thing I remember him for, and I'm a huge fan of the NBA. Anyway, this time around, his name is in the news because while he was streaming a game of Call of Duty, he used an anti-Semitic slur. I'll put it here on the screen so you can see what I'm referring to, but I'll be honest, I'm half Jewish, my dad and his whole family were Jewish, and I've never heard this word in my life. Like, how racist do you have to be to dig into the archives and find this one? It's so obscure and it's so specific, it's almost like he looked up a word he could yell in public that most people wouldn't recognize. And then there's the fact that all of the Miami Heat kneeled for the national anthem, except for Myers Leonard. He claimed afterwards that he's still behind Black Lives Matter and was standing because he supports the military and his brothers who served, but he also had this quote which sounds very, I don't see color. Also, I think it's worth mentioning that in his live stream, he didn't do the thing most celebrities do when they accidentally use a slur on a live stream, which is freak out and apologize in the moment. He kept going and then received a phone call and said his wife needed him, so he needed to get off, i.e. my publicist just called. A few hours after the clip began to gain traction online, he did issue a statement apologizing and claiming he didn't know what the slur even meant. He wrote, I'm deeply sorry for using an anti-Semitic slur during a live stream yesterday. While I didn't know what the word meant at the time, my ignorance about its history and how offensive it is to the Jewish community is absolutely not an excuse, and I was just wrong. I am now more aware of its meaning, and I am committed to properly seeking out people who can help educate me about this type of hate and how we can fight it. Obviously, he's lying. You don't even have that word in your vocabulary unless you know exactly what it means. And he used it as an insult in the game, so we know he knows. Funny coincidence here, Myers actually just purchased a $7 million house in Miami with the hopes that the Heat would re-sign him, and the team is owned by a Jewish man, so we'll see how that goes. Anyway, I want to know what you guys think about this. Do you think he'll stay with the Miami Heat after his contract is up? And do you believe that he didn't know what the word meant when he used it? Leave your thoughts down below in the comments. Subscribe to the Fortune Thief for more videos. And if you like this one, just give it a quick thumbs up. That is it for today. I will see you guys next time. Bye.